Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Life with Diddy. This is Diddy and I am Ashari. And we are having a beautiful sunny day today, especially with no itching. And as you can see by the title of the video, this video is specifically about fleas and Diddy having fleas um, recently. So if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. And if you are an existing viewer, think about liking this video leaving a comment in the comment section letting us know what you think and stay tuned so i'm gonna try to insert a picture of what a flea looks like right here so if you don't know what a flea is um it's a type of parasite actually we call them insects or bugs but it's actually a parasite um, because it lives off of the blood of animals usually cattle and other pets as well as other wild animals in the wild so as you can see from the picture fleas they look like they itch they look very uncomfortable to have anywhere near you and your pet that's why we sometimes itch from uh, flea bites and our dogs also go a little crazy from flea bites over the years different medications have been developed to kill fleas and help prevent fleas in your home and on your pet. Um, Frontline is one of the main ones that comes to mind, which is don't ever use Frontline. And I know I'm going to get a lot of responses, or maybe I'm just hoping I'll get a lot of responses, saying why shouldn't I use Frontline? So I'm just going to go ahead and insert some of these right here. There's also always been home remedies, as we call them, or um, what do they call it? Not aromatherapy, but I guess like aromatherapy, where we use different, um, or is it homeopathic therapy? I think that's what it is, homeopathic therapy, where we actually use things that grow naturally from the earth um, in order to help with the infestation of fleas and flea problems. Um, so using like lavender or using, um, what's that other one? Tea tree oil, for instance, helps with killing fleas. Also using apple cider vinegar um, helps with pre preventing fleas. I'll kind of explain that a little later. So lately I've been using these, which is Bet, Bet's Best Flea and Tick Wipes, plant-based formula made with peppermint and Eugene oil. This is the 50 count. And what I do is just take one of the wipes, which I think smells pretty good. It smells like peppermint. And I just fold it into a square. And as you can see, Diddy's hair is already parted down his back like you would any other flea treatment. And I just wipe down in one motion, making sure to touch his skin. Because what you want to do is make sure that the what you want to do is make sure that the wipe is touching the skin so that the essential oils are penetrating the skin so that they do their job in making sure that the fleas are dead. And I also make sure to get behind the ear. Any place that usually gets pretty warm, you want to make sure that you're wiping. And I do that on both sides and I also take it and use it on his man bits around the side because when he was a puppy I used to see fleas here when he would be missing out on his flea treatment which we normally get him every 30 days it costs about $20 and it's called revolution but this has been working really good I also 
I also use two wipes because sometimes one is not enough, especially with a dog whose hair is as dense as this. So I'll go ahead and put it back into a square and I'll make sure to do it under his arms as well because those spots also get really warm. And lastly, I won't forget to do it under his chin. So this is just one of many ways to alleviate the fleas and tick problem off of your dog. And I just do this after we walk. Um, or if he's around other dogs. Just wanna make sure you get everywhere. I thought I was gonna be by myself today since today is Sunday, this is a library and it's closed, but nope. As soon as I got here, look, one, two, three, four cars wanna pull up. What? Run straight to me whenever I open up the wipes, like it's a snack or something, cause you know how he is about his snacks. You little greedy monster. Right. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> I'm so obsessed. <laughs> but like, you know, you got it? Come here, dude. 